All right. Welcome, everyone, to Spider-Man Part 2 of the Sinister's Commentary. I am here with my collaborator, my writer, co-writer. Introduce yourself, sir. Yes, I am the co-writer of Episode 2. Uh, right. And uh, you helped work on Part 1. I mm -hmm. mean, we, we, we work on all our projects together. That's the good thing. Right. Like, you're basically two of us. It's always two of us when it comes to the creative process. So today we're going to be doing a little behind-the-scenes commentary on The Sinister Part that, 2. That's right. Yeah. So shall we begin? Yeah. Okay. Let's begin the video. All right, let's begin. So obviously new intro. Slightly new uh, iteration. Yeah, yeah. Some new footage and some sneak peek later in the episode. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things we like to do. We like to give you peeks. I know we're only two parts in, but we like to like hint at stuff that is going to come into the future. Most of the stuff is in the part two anyways. Yeah. With, uh, but obviously, it, it's also like a good recap, I think. Yeah, because you see like what happened kind of. A little bit before, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's just it, '90s. '90s intros, it's the best intro. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love it so much. Um, uh, yeah. Um. Oh god, it was. <laughs> it, it just. It's it's kind of hard to sync it up with the music, but it usually comes out pretty well. Yeah. I know personally, you prefer the first part. The first one is kind of a classic. I, you know? I think. I mean, I... <laughs> uh, okay. The process of beginning this video. I wanted to, I wanted it to lead right from the last video where we left off. Peter waking up, right? Miles being like, "Wake up! Wake up!" Reaffirm his position of well, this is a bad idea. It know? was a bad idea. <laughs> to go to that warehouse, yeah. Because this is. What a coincidence! The whole sinister team, yeah, well, most of them, mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. just going to appear. <laughs> yeah, part two, <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man Part Two, the Sinister. So, how did you approach? Well, I guess we approached Part Two in the writing process. Because I know Gwen was actually the whole Gwen section was a. I want to say it was a late edition. Yeah, it was pretty late. Um, yeah, because. Like this whole intro, because John he um he filmed a lot of the the battle first, all yeah, of that, all of the yeah. It's kind of in reverse order, like the first part, and we kind of built the story around that. Right, that's that's usually the process: action first, and then story elements last. Right. Um, obviously the custom nature of this toy. It's all I had really to work with, and I wanted a Gwen that was a bit older, because they're all. Around in their twenties, college years, kind of right. age, and but yeah, I think you know I had you know I'm pretty happy with how the set looked too. The set, man, it was you know it's a really good like illusion. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just one piece of uh, foam board. <laughs> That's the thing about these sets, like they're actually pretty flexible because yeah. they're kind of they're just walls and you place them in different. Um, spots yes and you only need what's in frame exactly this this was i know a lot of people have been saying this is the whoosh <laughs> music <laughs> i didn't realize that when i when i put it in the video it's so. funny because um <laughs> i didn't know what that was either and then i watched the video and it had that music I'm like oh that's what's from <laughs> yeah <laughs> obviously dr strange here this was um this whole section this, this just, just came out of like you know, pure... it's a lot of cameos, but, but um, we not want even the cameos because they are going to be implemented in the story in future episodes. Future exactly, parts, it's like know? planting seeds, and we because another reason is we wanted a world that was already living. Yes, we want exactly. It wasn't like just beginning; like things were already happening. Spider Man's been Spider Man for a while you now. Gwen's active, and you know. A lot of cool stuff, but you also had, see yeah. some people that are not, you know, characters yet, <laughs> such as uh, Cletus Cassidy. Cletus. Cletus. Uh, Cletus. Uh, now this is your voice. Yes, you had the honor of voicing Cletus. <laughs> this was a fun little scene to shoot. 
just him. <laughs> and he, and he, you're the pedestrian. I'm the pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. And then, yeah. I love this scene. It's just cool. I, I like how we came up with the idea of Cletus just being a criminal. Yep. In the city and Gwen stopping him. Doing just a bit of spidey work, you know? Yeah. I wanted a day in the life kind of feel for Gwen. Well, Peter and Miles are kind of like trapped. And they're being held right. hostage, basically. Oh, here we go. And here we go. Brock. He's always fun to write with. Oh, I'm telling you. Isn't he the best to, to write with? He's so we have, we fun to some bounce of the, off. We have some of the best writing conversations <laughs> when we're coming up with Venom and Brock scenes. Probably some of the most fun writing we've done. You know. this, this this figure is so <laughs> I love this figure. <laughs> it just <laughs> right. it just fits like his hysterical like um, yeah. attitude. <laughs> this poor guy. This poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Venom. <laughs> He's just hungry. Venom's just hungry, you know. And, you know. <laughs> poor guy. Boy, I gotta tell you though, working with this Revoltech Venom, man. Really having the option to uh, move the mouth, you know, it it really adds a lot to it, though, the animation process to it. And uh, you told me that he was very top heavy. No, oh, you looking at him? <laughs> well, yeah, but he like, is. was he difficult to work with at all? Because of not that? really. I mean, it's only it's tedious. That's all. Especially mouth movement. Mouth movements are always tedious, but right. But I actually had to animate with the audio, which was. Very helpful. Mm -hmm. This was a fun scene with Gwen and Venom. You know, her just kind of recruiting him because, like, she doesn't know where the heck is Peter and Miles. They haven't been answering their their calls, and she's like, oh, well, well, you know, this guy. Kinda... This guy has got a great sniff. <laughs> he knows the scent. He knows the scent. And he's not. Venom's not really a villain. He talks. No. He talks a big game. Obviously, he's not a good guy, but he's not a bad guy either. He's he, he's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> And she's kind of using him to her advantage, you know. <laughs> I mean, she sweet talks him, you know. Right. Lethal protector. Lethal protector, you right. know. City. And then he, he totally falls in. <laughs> yes, the city loves him. Okay. Here we go. And this was literally, yeah, all this stuff was what I shot first, you know. I had to take my time introducing all the sinisters as well. Like, it's something I like to do. I don't like to just jump right into action. Usually I do, but this process, I really had to, like, give them intros, you know? Because, mm. obviously, they might appear in future parts, you know, certain, certain, certain characters. Electro was fun to use, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, and, then, of course, Sandman. Jeez. So, the kinetic sand was something... I. It was funny, because I didn't know we were going to use kinetic sand. Because I think it was during the process where we actually found the idea that we could use this type of, like... Mm -hmm. Should I call it technology? <laughs> new technology available, <laughs> you know? We like to do... I love to do practical stuff, because it's all in camera, you know? It just looks and ages better. Uh, and originally, we were going to have, like, a maybe different members for the team. Yeah. What an idea was gonna have Rhino. Rhino, but we didn't have a Rhino. That wasn't available. But eventually Sandman came in. It's like, alright, I guess we're using Sandman. We're Sam using Sandman. The kinetic sand just worked perfectly. Yeah. This whole idea with the bio bomb. This is. I don't. <laughs> it came out of just. You know, I kind of wing, winged all the action stuff. Like, it made sense to me that Miles would have, like, had, like, this ability to, like. Just, like, protrude electricity power, yeah. And I like the I like the set piece idea of it, you know. Beautiful then, with the blue smoke. Yeah, thank you. It came out pretty well, I think. Obviously Electro and this, Miles. This, is, this Oh yeah. Yeah, the Sandman <laughs> fist was fun to shoot. I mean you can probably notice with a lot of my action, I like to keep the camera moving moving a lot. You know? And that's why part partly because why it takes so long. Yeah, a lot of this is a one shot. This is all one shot. One, obviously, it took like a couple days. I don't know how long it took exactly. Maybe a week or something. But yeah, I wanted a scene where I wanted a couple scenes where you have all the sinisters kind of working together, especially towards the end. But mm -hmm. this scene, like Peter's, just not. 
<laughs> He's just not prepared for any of this at the moment. They just got free, right? But they just got shocked too by the bio bomb. So it's in like fact, yeah, a little disoriented. The only time you see Peter really on top of his game is during the Doc Ock fight, ori the original in part one. Like he's doing pretty good in that fight. Mm -hmm. Once he gets knocked out, you know, boom. <laughs> Obviously, we wanted to cement something their that's friendship. Yeah, there. that's very like, important for this arc that we're trying to tell through this stop motion series together right <laughs> yep and the sand i love our sandman voice actor he's so great <laughs> all of our actors doc ock man. all the actors did it great for this episode. phenomenal like i'm telling you the the film is not a film until we have all the voices and audio effects it's just <laughs> i love the part where he's you idiot you know sometimes they might get in the way of each other you know? exactly <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to like do like this oh, Electro yeah. versus Miles kind of like battle, you know, kind of the red kind, and yellow, kind of like a mirror, yeah, thing because electricity, yeah, it, it felt it's natural, you know, it yeah. Natural. And I, I don't know if it came across in the video, but they haven't really fought before, these two. Miles is kind of like new unaware. to some of these villains. Yeah, he's Sandman, the... Electro. Yeah, yeah. And I think so. This scene, I'm telling you, took so long. Oh. Because <laughs> it was very... I had to be very careful with the camera angle, especially that beginning part. You know? I mean, the Doc Ock tentacles look like it might be easy to work with, but I tell you, it's it, a lot. It's it, a lot. It, it, it came out great. Well, thank you, because I think... Yeah, I, I'm glad it did. At least you... Um... Yeah, it was just an idea of them fighting on a building. I wanted to do something creative in that process. That, that battle. Okay. <laughs> Miles is being Miles tag is team. Just, yeah. Being tag team by these two. <laughs> oh, then Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, the Scorpion. I had to give Scorpion his due, you know? He had to have his scene. Because I know he's kind of on the lower tier in the Spider Man villains at the moment. But that could change with one movie, but. He's one of my favorites. And in fact, he's. It's, this is a cool part, you know? Yeah. Because I like the uh, whole hunter aspect here. Yeah. He comes in, like, with the acid. He's always on top of Spider-Man, too. Like, he's always... In speed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that was kind of a late addition of him being Spanish. Well, actually, no, it was early in the process where we were going to have him be, like, the Spanish speaking uh, character, which I love. That yeah, was from Spider-Verse. I was like, yeah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I know you love this part. <laughs> a lot of people oh, seem to like yeah. this part, you know. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know people are saying Sandman steals the show. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> it was just he was so fun to use. You know, because I've never seen people use kinetic sand the way I envisioned. You yeah. Know, using them. Spider just gotta get away from Scorpion. You know? Yeah. Help Miles. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I wanted to like crack some little joke. Like their relationship is just so important, even during battle. You mm -hmm. know, it's a balance. Um. Again, the the, the writing <laughs> insinuates that they've been they've been doing well. Peter's been doing this as well. Miles is kind of like, oh wow, this is um, this is what you deal with. <laughs> On a daily basis. Maybe hinting at something. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, possibly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Kinetic sand in action. Honestly, I think this was the this scene funnest was, part. Anime. This scene was crazy. Insane. <laughs> yeah, the idea of him just turning into this giant head Pac-Man Pac -Man style. <laughs> Gonna eat them. was fun. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, if you saw that, you'd scream. Yeah. <laughs> and then... I knew I couldn't do like a giant body, right? I but I could do a head. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> Don't eat my friend. Don't eat my friend. That's the best part. <laughs> Nailed it. <Yeah>. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But it ain't gonna but save you. Obviously, hinting at something. Ooh. <laughs> yes. And then, of course, there this is, is when they're all going to come together. Culmination. Here. Yep, the culmination of 
villainy uniting against Let's them. Handle. Let's do this together. Now this, the last one shot. I had to end Ooh. it with one more bang, right? One more action piece. No. So much is going on. No. Yeah, it's kind of a trick I used that I kind of developed in this part, like where you're, you're zooming in on characters and then zooming out. You know, it makes the animating process much, uh, much more flexible. Like, you can have, like, characters just appearing in places because they're off screen, right? Mm. So I'm, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Pretty happy with it. <laughs> and then, of course. Oh. And then he gets stung. Gotcha. Scorpion. Scorpion. Of all the, the sinisters, right? But <laughs> it's almost as if that was the plan, right? Exactly. To get him stung. Mysterio appears. Mysterio's just watching. Because, I mean, and then of course we have. There he is. There he is. The goblin. Spider Man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Goblin is something I wanted to build up to, you know? Mm hmm. And part three is going to be, I hope, a big payoff. Um, yeah. So, I mean, any other thoughts? Insight. Obviously, the third part, the madness inside. inside. It's coming. It's coming at some point. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how this one came out, because I am. I mean, who wouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> I know you this, have. This took, takes a while. And I know, this just... one took, man, I want to say a little over a month, probably. Um, all our actors did amazingly. Great performances. Um, yeah, so, what else is there to say? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, mm -hmm. little commentary, little insight. Uh, let us know if you want more of these commentaries, because we have other videos that we would love to do commentaries for, so. Hell yes. You know? Um, but, yeah, it was... A hard video to edit, this one, considering <laughs> all the characters, and yeah, it's partly why it took a while, um, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one, uh, part three is, I would say, about, man, percentage-wise, I'd probably give it Oh, it's over 50% done, for sure. Cause the Just main, the animating process. Yeah, I would say about 70%. 65. 65 to 70% done. Alright. So. Looks like you've begun the yes, uh, yes, sinister yes. battle. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we don't want to spoil anything. Alright, alright. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to be said, but peace out, y'all. And thank you for all your support, as well. Yes. It's much appreciated. Uh, we love doing this. There's a joy to write. And there's... To we have, create. Yes, we have a lot planned for where we want to take this character. A lot of ideas brewing, yeah. you know, so... And I think part three is going to be the best part yet. All right. Appreciate y'all. See Bye. ya. Peace out. <laughs>